family, friends and comrades will gather in Ulundi, that's in Wazul Natal today, to remember Zanele Kamakwazam Sibi. The late president of the National Freedom Party passed away on Monday at a Durban hospital after suffering cardiac arrest. She was 59. Kamakwazam Sibi will be laid to rest in Ulundi on Saturday. Right, and let's touch base with our reporter, Ngoskona Duma, who is covering the memorial service in Ulundi. Ngoskona, very good morning to you. It must be a very, very sad day indeed, a sad moment for the people of Ulundi. This is someone that uh, they have known for the better part of their lives, given that uh, she was uh, in the political space, but also someone who served that community as mayor at some point. Indeed, Koli, um, as you put it, Kama Gwazam Sibi is a revered figure in these parts. She's known as, uh, you know, as a person who championed the development of uh, Ulundi and the greater Uzululand district municipality where she served as mayor. Um, Koli, at some point, Kama Gwazam Sibi was, uh, you know, w w not, uh, w the only woman in, the, in, in, in very senior IP structures. And uh, she was a grand baker, according to people here. It is a sad moment, particularly for people who are part of her party, the National Freedom Party. They say that she had worked very hard for the community and her passing has indeed, you know, taken them uh, with, 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 with they, 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 they are saddened by her passing. But I am joined now by one of the PEC members of the National Freedom Party here in KwaZulu Natal. His name is Mr. Mtogozisi Magwaza. Baba Niti Nikameke Ingozi Enge Kwandwana. Jenga <laughs> Why is this so Thomas Palace been despatate? Thomas Palace was abandoned by Zulu land. Bangabina, Kupega, Bangabina, Uxwell, and Enga Yoguti, Obodi, Obukono Petit Jangamanj. But if you know Thomas Palabu elegate, what a Jangamanj, Gama Kwasam Sibi, we look at the Kulukutina Manji Uguti, Symptomies, 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 people who are living in Thomas Palace Zulu land, Subatat. Yabo Baba Siazu sit and bule no it can be lele and a p it can be elegant laba ninking a colo named the number nango woods in Janango two thousand and sixteen Sakumbula and Kwazanga, no one can elegant the o keto Ukshona Gomuntu, O Yen was Sungula, Lake and Bugushu Tinning Nina, Sample Konoku, Vusele Lio, Ms. Patil and Ango was a politic. Jamaba is a Bilam Sabin, who's a little Gamakazan city. Tina Sikola would go to Bengalos and the Goba. Ugazile, Ugutting, and this cutlessy corner. Ugawa Lagoena <laughs> Uh, Namsa is always a memorial service coming from Melway to Sim Amanya wangezi, tina esko na la esikulungi le sibe kona kuzi, tina biba ni.
Well, there you have it, Odi. That was um, Sogozi Simakwaza. Of course, he is a PEC member of the National Freedom Party here in KwaZulu Natal. KwaZulu Natal is, of course, the stronghold of the National Freedom Party. It is the province where it was formed after it broke away from the IFP in 2011. Well, Mr. Makwaza has told us that uh, the passing of uh, the uh, late president of, of uh, Zanele Gamakwazam CB is a sad moment for them, but he has vowed that they will carry on her legacy. They are saying that they understand that the party that she led faced some problems. You will recall that at some point, well, in 2016, that uh, challenges in contesting the local government elections. They are saying that they, um, her passing has revived that energy with which it was started, and they are going to uh, work very hard to revive that political party. Now, on the program uh, that we expect today, uh, we are seeing, uh, you know, well, I don't know. Uh, we, we were passing a lot of people wearing NFP regalia. It was safe. It is very safe to estimate that there's at least over 100 people in the vicinity here. But uh, he was just explaining to us as well that they are trying to maintain uh, COVID-19 or rather adhere to COVID-19 uh, regulations. And if you look at this venue, they've already set up um, uh, screens. Uh, because the memorial service I I itself will be taking place uh, inside uh, the, the hall here in Olundi, just not very far from the old legislature building of the of the of KwaZulu Natal, uh, but they've also just made plans to ensure that those people who cannot come in will be able to you know to watch live the proceedings at these uh, screens that they've set up outside the venue. Yeah, Koskona, I guess give us that sense of exactly what is being set up. You talk about screens that have been uh, erected uh, so that people are encouraged to be rather outdoors if perhaps the venue that will be used uh, will be too full. Just give us a sense of how uh, this memorial service is being organized in line with COVID-19 regulations. Well, um, Tony, as you see, if you walk around, a lot of the people here are already, uh, you know, wearing their, their masks. They're trying to adhere to COVID-19 regulations. I'm just asking my colleagues, Bongse Ngubano, to pan around and just to see some of these screens that have been put up uh, around the venue. Now, we are told by the organizers of this memorial service that they'll be putting up chairs. They'll be setting up chairs here just before 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is, of course, the time that the memorial service is expected to commence. And uh, we, this part here soon will be filled with, with chairs. So inside the actual venue, uh, they expect that uh, just about 100 people will be inside. But here outside the venue, they will be trying to make sure that um, uh, at least 250 people uh, outside the venue will, of course, be watching as that unfolds. But from where, or from what we've been told so far, Ori, is that uh, despite you know the kind of commanding, the kind of support that Kamakwazam CB commanded, especially in these parts of KwaZulu Natal, uh, where we are in Olundi, uh, they will try and make sure that. COVID-19 restrictions are adhered to and that members of her political party actually adhere to them. Live from Ulundi, that's in Guazul Natal, that's our colleague and Goskona Duma covering the memorial service of the late Zanele Kamakwazam Sibi, the founder of the National Freedom Party.